One of the first things the human race did when they crawled up out of the muck was start killing each other. Since the beginning, we have all been engaged in an arms race with ourselves. As weapons evolved from rocks and sticks to bows and guns, we also sought ways to protect ourselves. The ultimate expression of attack and defense may well be the tank, an impregnable vehicle with devastating firepower. Few of these mechanical juggernauts are still operational, but one is lumbering its way toward the Shire. All right, uh, let me have everybody up, Colt. I'm going to take you uh, to a small pass that's three hours from the Shire. Uh, go ahead and uh, give us the map, please, Colt. Here are the six of you. And uh, looking at the zoomed out map, you can see the bottom is a bit of a ridge. Uh, and then there's a part of the roadway. And then there's the ridge continues the other way uh, from the other side. You spoke to your new ally, uh, Dakon. Uh, he admits, by the way, that that's a very heavy metal uh, kind of goofy name he was settled with by his boss, who insisted on calling himself Curse. Uh, he preferred to be called Dak. Uh, you turned Dak around a bit. I believe it was the uh, powerful words of the equally powerful Agent Goldwater uh, that got him to flip. Uh, and so let me go ahead. I've got a counter for him. Can we um, zoom in on that group on the map, please? Get a better look. Thank you. Because it's hard to see in the distance. And um, shortly we'll go back to the, uh, the, the Brady Bunch. Uh, you're going to need to set up an ambush. So what you arranged with Dak at the end of the last episode, as he told you, Here's your problem. Curse is a warlord. He's somebody that worked with uh, an enemy of uh, Tiber Fane, who's an ally of yours. Somebody that you, uh, I believe it was Eric, who just blew him away. Uh, Baphomet, you gained the enmity of the, this group of uh, thugs. So when Curse decided to start taking over this area and making it his domain, you were definitely on his dance card. Uh, okay, we can go back to the video. And uh, so Dak explained, one of the things that's coming is literally a tank. Mm. One of the upsides okay. of having a tank coming to your house, and there is an upside, is tanks are big and heavy. They are, um, and this particular one's fairly slow. I know some modern tanks are actually pretty damn fast. This one's a big sloppy tracked slow mover. It's also a hundred years old. Uh, so grinds along like an old World War, World, War II, that World War II movie. Apparently, I can't say World War II. World War II movie. Um, so what he recommends is there are only a couple of pinch points where he believes they must take the tank to get it from A to B. So as you've discovered over the last 11 plus sessions, uh, spoiler, we played a little bit before we started filming them. So this group has uh, a history. So in the last however many, God knows how many episodes, uh, you've discovered that uh, there's not a lot of flat open land, right? So this, the, uh, the fall happened in the future of our present, in the past of our game. So the concrete creep of modern society is of most of anything. And once you hit it with bombs and earthquakes and so forth, it cracks, becomes uneven and hard to traverse. But you discovered the few times you took uh, you've got the one pickup that you've armed with uh, roll bars and weapon weapon mounts. Uh, but there's times where it's just not that useful because what used to be useful in terms of uh, roadways that even the land are now much worse than the underlying land would have been. So for a tank, this is not ideal terrain. So what Dak has arranged is he picked the most obvious point to assault the tank, which is the map I showed you. Nice. He works with you to build a large, remotely triggered explosive. So what you're going to do is you're going to set up something to slow the tank when it has to stop and people get out and clear the road. And he says, well, the good news is um, there, it's not going to be a huge red flag because they will have to do that a lot. Moving the tank forward will be 
occasionally stopping and clearing rubble. So it'll be suspicious, but not turn around. This is obviously a trap kind of suspicious. If we've guessed right and set our blocks properly, the tank will have had to stop where our explosives will be under it. And he would have said, I don't know what you all know about tanks, but the place that they're least defended is on their underside. So if we set the explosives right, we can stop the tank. At that point, it, we all jump out of the cake and yell surprise and start <laughs> shooting things. Um, another point would be, um, because of the nature of the weapons on the tank, and he says he's seen it because uh, he was part of the gang. Uh, it has a large tank gun. So I don't know the millimeter. I know the, the rounds are like this. They're, you know, take out a phone booth big. Um, but there's also two pintles. So those are the, the things where you can sit in and move them around that have heavy machine guns on them. Because of the nature of those heavy weapons, you actually don't want to be at far range because they shoot less accurately at near range. So ideally, you want to be on that map, hidden. Then when the explosion goes off, and hopefully the tank stops moving, you then attack, but you don't want to have to run in because they will mow you down with those machine guns. Um, I think we can go into character play at this point. That's enough of the basics. One other variable I should let you know is you have gotten together six grenades. Ooh. So we'll need to know who has those grenades. Also, you're going to have a remote to explode. He doesn't want it to be pressure sensitive because you want to make sure the tank is over the, ex the explosives. So somebody will need to carry the detonator. Ooh. So that's pretty much it. I mean, if we're in the proper position and uh, that damn thing stops where we want it to, the amount, I mean, I'm not super impressed by the amount of uh, explosives I was able to get out of your camp. You're going to want to work on that. Uh, but I think you could at least blow one of the tracks. And if you're lucky, you pierce the underside and maybe kill the driver. In a perfect world, that's what you want. You want it to be unable to move. Because then somebody like Eric can worry about taking out uh, enough so that you can get in and make sure that those main guns don't fire. Any questions? I don't think so. Oh, I think we're good. So you're a mage, right, kid? Yeah. Can you turn it into like a like a pig or something? No, I can do this. And I do the skull head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've never met <laughs> you, but they told me that was going to happen. Oh, yeah? Who told yeah. Me? Yeah. Oh, well, it's... People know about this? It, it, it's a story that was told in the campfire. Uh, we, you've made some enemies, right? And oh. uh, there's some stories told about you. Like they were scared of me. You seem nice enough, so we're going to roll with that. Okay. I'll, I'll say the flaming head was mentioned. How about that? Okay. What, where, where, where was I when I was doing that? I'm, I still have the flaming head on, by the way, just as this conversation is going on. I really wish I could say that was disorienting. Um, can you change how it looks? I mean, the skull, you're grinning. You know you're grinning when you do that, right? Well, like I I, I've, I've, been working on, I've been working on this. I try to grow a third eye in, so I look like I have like a third um, eye socket in my skull. Um, so is now, that supposed to be offensive? No, <laughs> to have a third eye socket. No, dude. Like, so I why would you pick that as the scary thing? It's not scary. It's just different. He said, "Can I do something different?" Oh, it's he different. Said, he didn't say, "Could it be scary?" It makes me feel be different. Eric, See what you've done, Eric. Man, it it didn't look like an eye. It, it kind of looked like a pimple. Yeah. All right. I, it's amazing. Okay, I let it drop. Know. Look, man. I didn't mean anything by it. I like. Cause like, look, I can do that normally. And I, like, I have a, a little third eye vision-y thing that I can see. Like, I don't, I can't see like gun shooting stuff. Like I can like tell what people are thinking. I would just try to look grim when you light the skull fire. You always have this like 
real happy with yourself, kind of like goofy grin, which then with the fire, you look like a happy skeleton. So be, be, be sad? Yeah, like a war face. No, not sad. Like badass. Yeah, check him out. Okay. Show me your war face. Show me <laughs> the war face? Show me your war face. There is your problem. See, whatever you do, it's going to be whatever that is with an exclamation point on fire. So if you make a scary face and you're on fire, you're a scary face on fire skeleton, which is awesome. If the face looks like he's helping out at the library and you're on fire, you're a confused looking helping out at the library skeleton. Yeah, but I can light my head on fire. Oh, boy. Man, just because you can light your head on fire doesn't mean you can only light your head on fire. It's kind who's of gonna, one of my only things. Who's going to handle the uh, transmitter? I'll, since I'm not the best in combat, I will take it. But I'm going to show you how to fix the problems if they come up. I mean, this thing we had to cobble together, but it's not hard. So here you go. I'll show you a couple of things. Who can help me put the, we're going to have to dig a hole and plant. We're going to hide this stuff. We're also going to put some stuff in there to shape the charge a little bit. So someone strong. I like to dig. I will dig. All right. All right. And uh, if if uh, um, Eric and uh, you, uh, gold water, right? If you could figure out what the best hiding places are, uh, Colt, why don't you go back to the map so they can plan their, their hiding places? So he's going to go Kirish uh, and also will end up with um, D. So you're there and you're planting, you're digging a hole under you. He's going to have you take a chunk of street out, move it, and then he's going to put that in and line the sides to shape the blast. So physical work. Uh, I assume this is coming left to right on the map. Uh, well, it'll be tank is entering from the left side. Yes. Oh, from the left side of the map. Yeah, oh. and they'll be stopping. Um, I think like, it's actually a tool here. Oh, you won't see it. Uh, oh. Yeah, you you probably figured out that like where those two stoppers are. I didn't get more fancy with the graphics, but that's assume there's a little bit more there that you pulled in stuff to close the road, make it look like just rubble. And the ridges, are they taller than the tank would be? Like that rock that's above where Nevada is right now yeah, will be about eight feet, so would be above it. Okay. Uh, anywhere in this square is going to be uh, near range. So if you want to be able to shoot a far with Karen, for example, you could go like just off the map here and fire in from far. Totally up to you. Your I mean, various weapons have different ideal ranges, which will be the ones that don't give you penalties that have zeros on that little track under the weapon in the lower right hand side. Mm -hmm. And X means you can't use it at that range. Hmm. Um, yeah. What is the, um, like, what is the uh, down at the bottom of the map on the. Yeah off of the ridge how tall are those is that like a is that like a, 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 a container a shipping container those are shipping containers yeah okay and and, and like and that ridge drop is about 18 feet 18 feet so the shipping container is well below the top of the ridge yeah but if you were to stand on it you uh -huh. could shoot up because that would give you a decent angle uh but probably not like at treads or anything okay. let's say there was somebody in the pintles you could maybe get a shot from there i got you Okay. Uh, Miss Miss uh, Winona, if you wanted uh, this shipping container up by the car, it's got an open side. We could probably hide you there, which would give you visibility. You could also hide behind the car when when shit goes down. Um, sort of up to you. I mean, there's other on the left hand side there. There's some barrels and another partial container. There's a few decent hiding places by the barrels. Perfect. 
they're going to, uh, D, you're going to end up asking Torg's help. Um, I don't know how much road construction you've done. Uh, <laughs> rising loose chunks of highway and moving them is, is not, it's not a young, it's not an old man's game. Uh, it, it requires Torg, a lot of- Torg was going to say, uh, Torg not want to make D feel bad. <laughs> I guess I didn't go full blown battle mode or anything, so I'm just out there, kind of like half sand castle building, half half kind of playing in it. Torg feel like D can do anything. D amazing. However, D may not be best suit for job. Torg Torg feel like maybe if D feel like. D could get hurt that Torg. D maybe let Torg do. Do you want to tag out? I can go hide things. It'll be really fun. Torg feel like your ability best using for sneaky hide. Torg, <laughs> Torg mean that in best of way, D. No, I feel it. I feel the love in your sentiment. Okay, let's high five and you can do the diggy and I'll do the hidey. Okay, one, two, three. Mm, uh. Torg excited. Thank you, Torg Dig. <laughs> Doc leans in a little to Torg. I I'm not sure what that kid does in your team. I just didn't want him to feel bad. <laughs> he's kind of scrawny. I mean, she's not obviously... scrawny. She's not a... scrawny. She is very strong in spirit and mind. I didn't mean scrawny of spirit. <laughs> great. I you skip say over that physical our strength is, is better than mental strength? Torg say you wrong. Wow. I skip, over, the moving I skip over, wait, wait, wait. I skip over because I can hear you. And I say, oh, I'm an assassin. And then I start hiding things again. B, D strong. D awesome. Oh, D family. You I, loser. Get, I think I understand. It's really good of you to take care of her that way. Poor kid. <laughs> What's so up? like? So like, if Goldwater and I are positioned where we are on the map right now, yeah, then we could cover people leaving the tank from both sides. Uh, can you give? Uh, thank you, sir. Yeah, Colt's on it. Yes, you could. Absolutely, perfect. Is that good, Goldwater? Well, I'm actually. I was thinking I was in the in the container. Yeah, I, that's fine. Okay, cool. And I could come out and start firing from here. Um. um Eric, are you far enough away though? I could be off the end of the map. Yeah. Where, where the man who talks told me to be. I think that's probably smarter. <laughs> Why don't I move my little look? There I go. I'm gone. <laughs> so I was I Navad was thinking he was gonna go by Winona, but now I'm wondering though, we kind of have him co- kind of covered from the north, but I'm wondering if like the south, like if Navad should have one of the grenades that we were talking about and be like from what's your hurl point? throw skill um let me see my throw is d- mediocre to poor yeah same um yeah maybe i'm not the best one for grenades then do you have a you have a close range gun goldwater yeah what if he threw the grenade and you shot it <laughs> it's better that he just throws it <laughs> I know it's not yes. character stuff, but yeah, like no, this, let's not do that. The, That's it's a real the bad dumbest idea. speedball ever. That's better <laughs> for you to shoot it than me. Um, I, I'm going to just lay people out on the map here. I know folks can't see it, but I'm just going to move people around. And then y'all tell me uh, if you have any questions about why people are where they are, I can try to answer them. Like a, like a David S. Pumpkins, any questions? Yeah. <laughs> Um, any questions? So any questions? Zach will tell you that uh, I think the tank's going to stop here. Right. This is real close to the tank. Gotcha. What's Zach's skill set? Oh, I'm an I'm ass kicker. Uh, I've got a, he actually has like a, a sword that's made from a piece of something and sharpened. So he looks like a linebacker and he's a sharpened piece of truck or something. I, I so see. very similar to Torg, but not as great. Because it's just some dude, not a Torg. Right. Um, 
so the tank's gonna roll up and when it ex when we blow it up everybody's compiling out of it or are we expecting like a train of people behind it it's likely to have uh protectors with it okay we'll have minders and we're gonna it's gonna be a fight I mean, they're right. coming they're coming to take your settlement gotcha well i don't think we have to worry so much about covering the south because the ridge is here shannon um okay. and that so they, they don't have anywhere to go and cutting okay. them off is no there's no point they, they're just gonna they're, they just fall off the hill so okay that makes sense right. uh i want torg to jump off a thing so i'm gonna put torg up there <laughs> <laughs> I want to to jump off and attack somebody. Uh, I think that's going to be great. Um, let's put. Wait, where'd <laughs> where Torque go? Can you Torque, zoom in? Torque's on, zoom a, in a, bit. Torque's on a big rock. Oh, oh, Torque, 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 Torque zoomed in too far. <laughs> 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 Torque have to zoom out. Torque see rock on on Torque on rock now. Torque gotcha. Go. And I don't want anybody too close to the explosion, so I'm going to back everybody off. Um, put D back here. Uh, okay. So we've got our two, uh, well, actually our three hand-to-hand -hand combatants pretty close. And then we've got Navad and me to intimidate from the front, hopefully, um, or do some mass damage uh, from Navad. Cool. Why not I'm back here to see the tank roll up so she'll have perfect vision onto it and Dak can help cover her in case something goes wrong. Uh, that looks pretty slick to me. Cool. Is everybody good, good at that? Sounds good to me. Perfect. Yeah. All right. So he says, all right, so at this point, you know, this is a waiting game. I mean, we might be here a couple of days. I mean, I don't think so. I think it'll be a few hours but it's not like they have a schedule or anything. Well, we'll definitely hear them coming. Oh, yeah, yeah, you totally will. Um, so, all right, um, Pancake? What do you, what, pancakes? What you say, pancakes? You have pancakes? He has a pocket full of pancakes. Man, you've been holding out on us? Yes. Pancakes? Yeah, I pancakes. Not, I was not holding Torque out. pancake now. Yeah. I mean, I was waiting for us to get set up. These are my holdout pancakes. I have them for everybody. Thank you. Yay! Thank you. They travel pretty well. The trick is you get a zippy and you put it in your pocket and then you just load up on pancakes. Man. Uh, can Bork have one? Um, I don't of... have an extra one, but I actually have some granola I think Bork would like. Thank you. He uh, in the other pocket and he has a, like a hand of <laughs> angry vegan. man are, are there chocolate chips in that granola no no i wouldn't offer that to a kind good of question. dog good thank questions you. yes thank you all right um i'm not gonna have you make a roll because you will definitely see this coming uh it is going to be early afternoon uh it is overcast this is uh early in the year so there's still a bit of a chill in the air you will see coming and we're not gonna need the map for this so it's coming from the direction you came from. So what would have been the right side of that map? There is an ox person of hmm. enormous girth. So big, but also broad. And then the ox person is carrying a pack, but it's kind of like a pack made of lobster traps and boxes so it's a pile of stuff into which all kinds of goods have been put and there is a smaller squirrel person who is crawling around on the outside of the pack he's so chunky look <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll wave him down since i'm closest to that side of the map he, he is chunking his way forward Bump, bump. He's clearly carrying quite a lot because the way his gait is. Uh, when he sees you wave, he smiles, turns his back to you, undoes a strap, and the back half comes down and two legs pop out. He then takes a belt uh. off and he's deployed a merchant stall. Impressive. Thank you. Rarely see such business ingenuity in this day and age. Uh, Pilico 
designed it. Well done. Thanks. Uh, what what you doing here at Ambush Point? I I think I think you could guess. Oh, I, I don't like to judge or make presumptions, but ambush. Yes. Not for ox traders, I hope. No, straight oh. riders. Oh, good. I I don't like to fight. I would recommend that. Uh, after we wrap up our conversation here, you take an alternate route. Uh, a tank is rolling in this direction along this road. What's a tank? It's a big vehicle with a big gun. Oh, is that what they're called? I've seen a bunch of those. Yeah. That's a tank. Oh, you you want to give us all your money? No, 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 no. Say it the right way. Do you want to trade us your money for these things? Maybe. What what sort of items do you have? I'm still training him. He, I met him in a gladiator pit. He really doesn't like fighting. He's really good at it, but he really doesn't. He was crying. He snapped some little mutant dude in half, and he was in tears. You Some people are not gonna, mentally built for combat, even if they are physically. Dude, you weren't going to mention that anymore. Uh, well, I got everything. I, what do you like? You like uh, bimble heads? I got a bunch of bimble heads. Uh, if anybody would like to take a look at this. Uh, I got a Rex bears. Manning? You were going to run Rex Manning, though? No. Chad Man. Is it Rex Manning Day again? It is in four days. That's why it's such a hot item. Man. That's one tradition we aren't going to let dry. Die dry, huh? Well, I don't know. <laughs> that was a dirty joke, kind of. You got to work to get there. See? Because damp. Yeah, I get it. I mean, I got, you know, I, I got a lot of stuff to trade here. I got circuit boards. I got a rocket launcher. Just, you know. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Go, yeah, back. Yeah. Go back a minute. Uh, rocket launcher? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, rocket oh, oh yeah, we've got a. Well, I mean, it's a shoot and and trash. It's a one shot tube. Yes. You okay? They're real dangerous, you know. Yes. Oh right, because ambush. You're dangerous. Yes. Yes. She doesn't look dangerous. I'm She's scared. maybe the most dangerous of all of us. Please. Don't test her. I'm not. No, 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 no. No, no testing, just trading. I'd, I'd like a biscuit now. Uh, hang on, break time. And he <laughs> climbs up and gets a biscuit and brings it on a feed table. Uh, uh-huh. He brings out, he, the, the skittery squirrel knows where everything's stashed, and he brings out a rocket launcher too. Oh, this is. Uh... This is a, a, like he says, a one-shot anti-launcher. He he pulls that back end out and pops the the, the site out. He's like, as far as I can tell, it's all clear. It should function just fine. Don't look down the barrel Oh, as a general warning. What goes the other? Well, (laughs) that. ah. (laughs) Oh, me. So you do uh no no I'm just taking a roll instead of having to dicker and understand the economy and a level of resolution that we don't need yes, to deal with. Yes, hundred percent. Nice. So instead of going down the granularity of what you've been carrying this and everything you encountered in the past eleven sessions of play, please make a barter check. All right. Uh, uh, who's got a good barter? Mine's not bad. Uh, it beat five. That's, that's uh, the best so far. Uh, yeah, I got a three. I got. Right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. I got. Well, and uh, add one and add one die, Barrett, because you can get assistance if you're not the only one doing the deal. Cool. Yeah. And uh, the party is weighing in with you. Yeah. Is this just total, or are you looking for um, successes? So you you're looking for safety. For what sixes? Right. Sixes. Two sixes. Okay. You trade. You trade Yay. between your party. You basically empty out your messenger bags and backpacks of odds and ends you've been picking up 
Yep. It's expensive. It's probably a couple hundred volts, but you have that. And volts, uh, because it's not just those points. I forget sometimes because I love pointing at you guys so much. There's theoretically an audience. Volts are a means of exchange in the world of nukes. Uh, they use I mean, if your interest isn't in collectibles, I mean, I've got a bunch of drugs. Uh, what kind of drugs? Well, uh, I've got some Colossus. You ever take Colossus? No, but I've heard it. Oh, it makes you feel huge. It's amazing. For like an hour, you just feel, you know, huge. Yeah. I know what you're getting at. I, I've got... Uh, what Eric? What is that? We'll, we'll talk about it later. I got a couple of... In a sidebar, just you and me. <laughs> Got a couple of doses of jolt. Oh, now jolt. It can help uh, wake up an unconscious like a victim if somebody drops in combat. If somebody's asleep, if you're if you on um, watch, you can jolt that sucker and wake him right up. He pops right up. That would be very helpful. Jolt. Yes, I think we definitely need that. Okay, so I'm gonna need another um, barter. One died down because you're down in resources. Okay. Can I put the effects of Jolt in the chat for you guys. So am I rolling five because I'm not getting any help this time? You're getting help, but so you're going to use your barter plus one for the help, but then minus one because you're shorter on resources. No successes. Any fives? Nope. Okay, that means you you don't have enough to convince him. Okay. All right, well, you got your rocket launcher, right? Yes, that is definitely the most important thing. You know what? I appreciate your fellow fan. And he hands the uh, Rex Manning bobblehead to Eric. Oh, that's so sweet. Here you go. For us, Every day is Rex Manning day. It screws up a little. I, I feel you. I feel you. All right, let's pack it up. And he tapped on the shoulder. Question yeah. for the squirrel person. You said that you saw a whole bunch of tanks before. Um, what was the context? How did you see them? I mean, all over the place. We travel up and down the waist. I mean, they normally it's like a pickup, and they put a gun in the back of it. And I, I've seen a couple that are like vans, and they cut holes out and they stick guns out there. I just didn't know they were tanks. No, those are technicals. Technical tanks? No, just technicals. Technicals. Yes. So what's a tank? I don't feel enlightened at all. It's a large armored vehicle that uses treads instead of wheels and has one incredibly large gun on it that, like, for artillery fire and then often a smaller machine gun on top. People oh say excited. Yes. As he as he describes it, I like draw a little cutesy version of one in the sand. <laughs> oh, her version seems fine. No, it's it's no no. And then I draw like like the guns and like how big the people are and everybody dying really fast. Oh, I uh, we should really go. Um, yes. Uh, oh, by the, <laughs> I didn't I, give names, did I? Uh, I I'm Pilico and this is Obo. Pleasure to meet you. Obo. I and can they, recommend a, a settlement Ford. near here called the Shire, where you may be able to do some good business. Oh, we just came from there. Oh, they're friends of ours. Oh, they spent pretty... There was one woman that wanted just a bunch of drugs. Everybody has their needs. Well, <laughs> I met their, her needs today. What was her name? Uh, I will have to do my research. We mentioned her in game before. Yeah. I think it was the episode where you went in the dog walk. 
we know there's an addict in the Shire. She's yeah. come up twice. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. He, so he gives that name. <laughs> X <laughs> insert name here. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, uh, good luck with your. <laughs> this Hi. is a good place for it. I would hide that, by the way. And he points on the side of a rock you hadn't noticed. Someone spray painted ambush point. Oh, thank you. I don't I know how we missed that. Do a tarp over that or something. We'll take care <laughs> of that. All right, we're off. And he helps. He grunts. Uh, so nobody wants to help him. It's up to the little guy to recock the drop down merchant saw. I'll I'll help. It goes much easier if you're not three and a half feet tall. Right. Because it's on hinges and he just leans forward. So it changes the bat. I thought too much about this. You can make it go. It's a little like a fold a bed. Yeah. Like a hide a bed. Yeah, like a like a trun no a trundle bed. What do they used to call those? Yeah. A a Pullman's like a like a Pullman's carriage. He's, he's That's got, what got a Murphy bed. Yeah, Murphy bed. Murphy bed. Murphy bed. The Murphy bed backpack. <laughs> yes. Um uh, Murphy just, Bed just, Backpack. That's an amazing yeah. band. I love that band. I don't want to role play this, Mike, but of course I give him uh, forms to fill out and tell him when the next time he's at the Shire, expect to have them filled out and returned. You will hear them arguing good naturedly. They really seem fond of each other, but Obo is very, uh, I like the term, uh, a straight up and down man. So he's like, well, we have to figure out what we owe. <laughs> and the squirrel is like, well, Yes and no. And you hear that conversation as they. <laughs> uh, all right. So about an hour later. Uh, can I have the map back, Shadow Cult? Thank you, sir. Who's had, got the most uh, number of dice for notice? In notice. I have. I am. I have, uh, I have six. I think it's Eric, yeah. So, Eric, you will notice. And I'm putting them, when I'm putting them off the screen here, uh, that means everything on the screen, by the way, to anyone watching, is considered near range. Uh, if it's touching the screen, the border, that's far anything off the screen not touching the border is distant so at far range you see three of these uh, they are about the size of a flying two-door nissan with massive Ooh. leathery wings and two little claw sticker things uh, and they are they the way they look when you first sight them is they were like hunting birds and things tend to wheel around looking for prey on the ground then they will change their path and very pointedly descend they are coming in to attack do i know what these are you do not hmm. um there's some large flying things uh looking like they're <laughs> headed our way Let's go ahead and get a, um, yeah, that would have been bad if you had not made your roll, but uh, if somebody dies, it wouldn't be necessary, because you're you. So let's go ahead and get some, uh, everybody roll their speed so I can get initiative some people. Okay. And I'm gonna ask for the numbers. So Eric, let's start with you. And you're just rolling your speed dice and adding them together, thank you. And um, Navad, what you got? At 13. Okay. Yeah. And, Much slower uh, than Eric. I know now what you got. 16. What was that? 16. Thank you very much. Uh, and Torg? At 29. Torg, Torg having trouble counting. <laughs> 25. <laughs> well, you had to count a lot, so that's fine. Uh, <laughs> D, what you got? 29. Ooh, dang. And, uh, Barrett. 
27. Thank you, sir. And they're going to act here. All right, so they are currently at the bottom. Uh, the first one to act, it, if you said 45, that's Tor. Um, Tor, do you, uh, you have a range weapon, right? You got your heavy crossbow? Uh, Tor believes so. Hold on, let Tor go to that window. Yes, Tor have a uh, basher and crossbow. Want to take a shot with the crossbow? Torg will take shot with crossbow. Okie dokie. <laughs> we'll go ahead and roll your shoot dice. You're looking for sixes. Oh, All righty. And everything is so tiny. Yeah. Torg having problem finding shoot. Uh, top left in combat. Ha! Torg find. Okay. <laughs> now Torg go to other tab. Torque find Torque sounds not, like Torque not great with technology. <laughs> Torque find sounds like an app. It, Did you get Torque find for your Android? Would Torque say home? I was, <laughs> making, I was making a joke to stall while you're doing math. Oh, <laughs> don't listen to my jokes when I'm stalling for you. <laughs> Torque twenty five. Uh, you're only looking for sixes when you're rolling to hit. Oh, crap! That's right. <laughs> Hold on, let Torque. Let Tor go back to that window. Totally. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, Tor can't see where they go. Oh no, Tor! Tor get a five and two fours, but no. Okay, the five means you get a partial success, which means okay. you'll hit and do half damage. So roll the dice listed for the heavy crossbow for damage. Okay. Okay. Sorry, Torg. Torg have to go back and forth between windows. <laughs> All right. Torg, get a five. Well, you're rolling those dice and you're looking for anything that scores a three or higher. Oh, okay. Uh, three, four, five. Three, four, five. So that's going to be uh, three... Uh, that's going to be six points of damage and no crits. So you hit one, and uh, it hits, but doesn't seem to be ter terrifically damaging. Uh, second one up is going to be Eric. Mm. Sorry, sorry. Gonna, I'm going to shoot the other one. Beautiful. Uh, there's three of them. Do you want oh. a different one or the one that's got a hit on it? A different one. You got it. And I got two partials. Okay, so um, go ahead and do your damage and then have it. And against guns, it's only got a two. Uh, so ten halved is five. Okay, so you got no sixes? No sixes. Okay, so another hit. And then we go to D. Um, okay, so uh, I rolled I rolled the shoot die, right? Roll your shoot dice, yes, and you're looking for sixes. Okay, I got three fives. Okay, so that's going to be a hit, So, but it's going to be a partial success. Okay. Uh, did you want to hit one of the ones that's damaged or the one that's not damaged? Uh, ones that, that's already damaged. Okay. So roll your dice. I think that's four dice. Yes. And you're going to want anything three or higher is going okay. to be two points of damage. Uh, so I got I got um, I got three threes and a six. So that's three points of damage, and then I roll again. That's so it's two points for every. So that's uh, three points of damage, and now I roll again. So that's twice that though. If you got three hits, that's six. Then your crit for the six. So what's your crit damage on that? I think it's two. Yes. So that's going to be eight points of damage. Then you roll your six again. Got it. Got it. Okay. Oh, and I got a three. Okay. So, but that doesn't count on the second roll. Second roll, okay. you're only looking for six. But it was the most damage done so far. Uh, you hit it. The the bolt sinks right into it. Uh, it's still, so using the whole red, yellow, uh, green thing, it's still not even yellow. Like these things are huge, flappy leather nightmares. Uh, look at 
I think I've been to a bar with a leather nightmare. Uh, Goldwater, what do you want to do? Oh my God, was I the leather nightmare? <laughs> I, 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 I wasn't going to say anything, but I, I saw the way that you made uh, Dak look in the thing, and it's like, there's some, <laughs> he's, he's got some vibes, man. I, yeah. I think uh, Dak is somebody's daddy, to be sure. Oh, it's <laughs> like I zoomed, I zoomed in on it, and I'm like, oh, hello, sir. <laughs> <laughs> so Gold, Goldwater, you wanna oh, wanna contribute to the uh, mayhem? I do. I'm gonna use my SMG to shoot one of these things, one that's already been hit. I want to kill one. Okay, so the most damaged one is the is the one in front. Go ahead and roll the hit against it. All right. Now, do you want to go uh, burst fire or just? So the rule on burst fire: if you use burst fire, a partial success will count as a hit because you're using burst fire. But if you don't get any fives or sixes, you need two ones or the weapon jams. Because as you know, it's super realistic that a gun on burst fire jams more often. Yep. Yeah, sure. Uh, so you know, you the kind of granularity we're looking for here, right? I'll just shoot one bullet for now. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, what am I trying to beat? Well, you just want sixes. This is a standard skill roll. Gotcha. I got a six. So, okay, we're good so you go ahead and roll your weapon damage. And the weapon damage is fine. God, I am not the other. I'm glad it's not only me. Like, we've had like three weeks off, but I'm like, are we playing poker? <laughs> <laughs> I got uh, three fives and a six. Okay, so that's going to be uh, eight points. Your six for a gun is three, so that's going to be 11 points. Reroll the six. Right. <laughs> uh, well, one. Okay, so that's uh, the creature is now. Uh, red, which means another hit will probably take it out, but that gives you a sense. It's very um, graboids. What's that movie? The the things that come up, and it's very much the you're, you're opening fire. Um, tremors, 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 tremors. <laughs> Remember how they were opening fire on the tremors? Yes, and like chunks would come out, but it's like they don't just go down. No, it's kind of like carving beef. <laughs> it's very much that sense. Um, all right, and then uh, they get to go. So they have to use game rules wise to get from one ah. range to another. They have to use their complex action. Ah, ah, oh my gosh. They go from far to near, but they can't move near to close because they change range category. So they are on you now, which means next round they're going to be able to come in and attack. Uh, Winona, you're up. Oh, dude. All right. Uh, guess I'll try to shoot him with my pistol. There's one that's in pretty sad shape. You, you, you are a commander. I mean, no, you, Colonel. 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 That's right. I have an administrative role, but uh, some <laughs> you, you some have, battle. You've done a couple of like blind shots that have been absolutely devastating. So let's let's see yeah. if you've got the goo today. So go ahead and do your shoot. Oh, five partial. Okay. And then go ahead and do your damage and have it. Uh, gun against these is going to be two or better. So it only doesn't do damage on a one. Um, okay. So I got a five and then uh, three twos. Okay. So that's going to be eight points total because it's two per one that hits. Uh, and that is. Eight is enough to take it over the line. Hey. Eight is going to nose plant and die. Okay. Nice shooting, Winona. Good job. I love the idea that the people with the heavy ordnance are like, die, die, die. And Winona comes out and just <laughs> plants one, and the thing just goes down. <laughs> um, all right, Navad. Yes. Um, I mean, I basically am going to cast. I'm going to cast Rend and just try to like zap it with some magic energy. Okay. Um, so you're, you're tearing it apart with uh, weakened laws of physics and exactly separating, gonna, you know, few from bone and pull, try to pull, a, yeah. pull the wings off of it somehow, you know? Yeah. There's a saying about people that pull the wings off of things though, isn't there? I know, right? I mean, look, 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 at, look at the dude. All right, hold on. Uh, if this feet. works out, B is gonna, or D is gonna make the most like loud, breathy, like. <sighs> <laughs> well, I did. I, 
Okay, I did get a, I did get a, uh, I did get a, I did hit. I got a success. Did do them. Um, um, what? Hold on. Where's what's the? I have a, I, I have an old, outdated um, version of the magic damage that d- is predates the d sixes. Go ahead for right now. Roll your willpower dice. Willpower. It, it, okay. Yeah, that's way more powerful than it should be, but just to get us to the finish line, roll your okay, dice. Okay, one, two, three. Four, five, six, and it's only got a two okay. against energy. So, oh lord, uh, that <laughs> is I got okay, and it's two per hit. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six hits and two sixes. So six hits will be twelve points. Two twelve points is going to be four more points. So it's going to be ten. Reroll 16. the sixes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I got another six. That will mean you are literally going to pull a wing off it. Oh, dude. Hey, D. What's up? <laughs> so a tendril of arcane energy is uh, woven and released by Navad and it lashes out and <laughs> yanks the wing off the monster, which may okay, be cool. the most impressive direct reaction result you've ever gotten. Oh, this is the that's the hardest I've ever hit anything, I think. Yeah. Uh, um yeah uh and then then my other then i picked the six up again and then i got a two so nothing there so you so. remembered to uh pay the two hit points for casting right correct uh that that drain so sorry d but it did i, I am depleted a bit wow uh Torg, you're up incoming horrible flapping monsters oh dear oh, i okay. tore the wing off of it but it's still it's still alive right oh no it it comes flapping down with one wing and also nose plants. No, no, oh. you ended you ended it. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Go Navar. Hey, Lord what's proud. up? I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna look back over it. I'm gonna also look back over at Dak and just give him kind of a so let me uh Jen, let me help you with the rules for this. You could theoretically hop down, use a simple action to maneuver. And hold your action so if it comes in, you get a hit on it before it attacks you. Or you can shoot it. Mm. It's really up to whether you want to stay at range and shoot it or get into combat and mix it up in close combat. Well, where's where did the other one go down? The one winged one, like here and here, they're dead though. Well, no, I know they're dead. Yeah, yeah. Like, like kind of by that. Oh, you can't by that it. white van. By the white van, close to like where the you, thing is that I the need to attack is. Gotcha. I yeah, see I can now. see the marks. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there yes. you go. So, oh, I don't. How do yeah, I? Yeah, that's that's apparently. I don't know how to move me. So, if you want to uh, move Torg down into the battle area, uh, I got her. I'm going to do what, for some reason, I can't move. I don't know if I have the, oh, I have the wrong thing highlighted, I see here. Yeah, you got to hit um, that I think I need to be on, on pan or on hand? The hand? I don't know. We'll, we'll let you move Whatever. your little guy. Oh, the pan does? The hand. Oh, the hand. Oh, cheesy crease. I'm old computer technology. What? <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, so yes, Torg moved down. Um, Torg wonder if possible, instead of using weapon or hand, can Torg take one of the uh, dead bodies of the large things to then hurl and throw at the one that's alive? Oh my God. It's, I it's believe- huge. It might make a bigger impact. I believe you have the hurl feet. Which I is, think I do. This is why is I exactly asked. Exactly what that's for. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you pick it up by one end, so just by the one wing, and then right. make the nice, like you know, uh, what's the thing where you throw the the the, the McKeever? I've made up something that is not true, but it sounds Scottish. It's like McKeever throwing. Uh, it's, it's in the in the Olympics. That's the hammer. There you go. So go ahead. And it's make, like a it's like a shot put on a chain. Right. Make your yeah. hurl hurl throw and attack him with his brother. Okay. 
All right. I've got, and it's, uh, we're just looking for sixes, right? Correct. Yeah. Got a six and some fives. Okay. So go ahead and roll your damage. Uh, Hurl should be an attack on the lower right hand side of your sheet. Unless I didn't put it in there, but I should have. Wait, well, who, what? What are, your attack what should all be listed at the lower right hand side of your sheet. Uh, Hurl is not. Never mind. Go ahead and no. roll four dice. Okay, cool. All right, clear these. Go away. Where'd the little thing go? Oh, there it is. Six. So which one, each of these are independent. So what did the four dice come up? Oh, uh, six, three, two, three. This day, two, three. So that's going to be, uh, so it's eight points of damage. Reroll the six. Okay. Uh, no, that's not how that does that. We're just going to do that. All right. Six. That's going to be more damage, and then you can roll it again. Nice. You keep going so you don't get sixes. Woo! So reroll it again. Ah! <laughs> it was so close <laughs> to right, another Eric. six, but I got a four. Eric, you're up. Uh, so Eric is uh, in limbo for a second. Okay, Eric. So he... Uh, Eric, he he. I guess uh, Karen fell down a crevasse for a there second. There you go. D, you're up. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, so I'm gonna oh, here, here comes an Eric, maybe. No, I don't know. Maybe so, my so. my hurl and throw is actually higher than my shoe. Are there rocks big enough for me to throw? So, what the feet does is it combines with your strength to make you lift and accurately throw something big enough to do more damage. Okay, you'd be doing very little damage if you throw it without that feet. Got it. Then I'll just stick with. Um, how far away are they still? They're still in near range. Okay. Oh, um, then I'm switching. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to go into aggressive stance and do, uh, uh, brawl melee instead. Okay. So you have to hold your action okay. so that when it closes with you or close with someone, you can run in and fight. Cause right now it's in the air. You can't actually get to it. So should you I wait then I should wait then until something makes them on the ground. Well, it's going to come in. It's coming in to fight. But you can be ready to receive the attack. And then okay, before then, it attacks, yeah. you can run I'll, in. Yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll get into stance this, this round. All right. And uh, I need Eric's attack. Sorry, I just materialized from the ether. I had to restart my computer. All good. Eric fell down a crevasse. You just you pop back up with her. Cool. And I saw that, that uh, Shannon rent something in Twain. Uh, there's one left. Just one is taking a hit. And it's, that's at super far range for me, so that's good. Uh, no, it's at, it's at near. It's at Torg, near? Uh, Torg picked up the carcass of another one and smacked it at the... Oh, uh, sweet. Yeah. Well, I'm going to still gonna, I'm gonna try to shoot it. Because why wouldn't I? Two hits, sixes. Okay, do you have a feat that triggers with that second six, or do you have to do a double shot before you roll? I think double shot you have to do before you roll. Yeah, no, I wasn't I wasn't trying to double shot. I mean, okay. I, I just happened to hit it twice. All so. right, so it only has a two against guns, so uh, mess it up. All right, so, uh, so I got uh, eight plus a crit. Okay, so it'll be the threes, so that's 11, and then re-roll to see if you get any extra. I do not. All right, so it is yellow. It's messed up. It's going to come in, and it will try to attack Torg, but D has run up, engages, and attacks. D, you're up. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, D! Roll the hit with an arm. Uh, its face off. Uh, yeah, so I, I hit... Uh, I got a six and two fives. Okay. So go ahead and roll your damage for the unarmed combat. Great. Oh my god. His defense is three. So anything three or higher scores two points. Six scores your crit. 
Okay. Uh, I got two threes. Okay. Uh, well, no, you roll more than two dice. I oh well, I've I uh for unarmed it says three, so I did three okay. and I got okay. two threes. Okay, so that's gonna be four points. All right, so it ends up fighting you. So it, uh -oh. it's going to attack with those two like hooks on the side of its head, and it gets. Dun, dun, dun. At least it gets to roll once, huh? What? Uh, it was looking like I was, wasn't going to get to attack. Uh, it attacks. We were it, just going to kill them all, and then that was it. Yeah. Uh, this is not great news for you. Uh -oh. What's your defense against us? I think you're wearing leather, and I think that's a three. I am wearing leather, but I don't have any of the numbers on. That's that. a three. Then. So that's the three. That's going to be six. And that is, uh, let's take nine hits. Oh. That means one injury. So roll a d6 yeah. to locate the injury. Uh oh, that's no Wait, fun. Roll one for an injury. Roll a d6 for your injury. I got one. Thing. So put just check your one on your injury track. Got it. Uh, all right, and then Torg, look a big icky leathery thing trying to eat your friend. Torg angry. <laughs> Torg want to smash. I, I do uh, not blame Torg. <laughs> so yes, Torg uh, is going to use Big Basher um, to hold on. Stop moving. There we go. Uh, and use a uh, brawl melee. Um, Perfect. Let me get my roll on here. Go to the proper window. We've got a close up of that fight, right, Colt? Cool. I just mean go in because the, the beastie is pretty nasty, but you need to go pretty close to see it. Yes, yeah, feel free to dial like way in. It's got lots of pores and ugliness. Mark of the devil, poor get six, six, six. Woo! So you do your damage. And then wow. you have an ability that lets you do uh, a hit afterwards. Unlike the one that uh, Eric has, you have a uh, pummel. So that means you do your damage now, but then you get to try to punch him again. Because hey, that okay. Uh, oh, right. You know your damage, ding dong. Go back to the other one. There you <laughs> go. I don't know why I was going to look at the sheet. I know I know my damage is full. Yeah, just rolling your four dice. Two, six, double six. So that's going to be, uh, that might have done it, actually. Uh, crit of two, so that's going to be four. Uh, it'll be eight points, which will take you to that. You don't need the second hit. Uh, do you continue to pound on it anyway? Yes, yeah, so so Torg is just like going over and over and over and over again, pounding into this thing, thing saying, D is strong. Leave D alone. D strong. <laughs> Leave D alone. I'm also hitting it, but it kind of sounds like a little plinko sound. Like, bling, 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 bling. is it going all squishy? <laughs> uh, all right. So, um, Winona, you don't actually have this thing in your creature book. Do you like sketch things in? Like, do you yeah. keep track of yeah, I, I go to the one that Torque isn't beating to a pulp, so I can. <laughs> but I let Torque do that because you know. Oh, yeah, no, no, right, because you've got one that has a wing pulled off, one that that uh, Torque is just destroying. Yeah. So you've got one specimen you can sketch. One I shot. Uh, yeah. So yeah, it's like you. We should get a photo of you with it, like <laughs> like a hunting expedition. Wait, hold up, take the photo again. I don't like the way I looked. Like in Jaws, we put it on a giant hook and she can just stand there. And... Oh my God, so... should I stop hitting this thing with Torg and sketch her with it really quick <laughs> on like the side of the van or something? Like holding it up like a fish? Yeah, like in blood. I can draw it in blood on the side of the van. Oh my God, I pick up the weird severed wing and I draw her holding this thing on the side of the van. 
It looks like a weird, like, uh, creepy uh, true crime fresco. It's beautiful. Sure. That's it that's my new independent band. It's going to be true crime fresco. True crime fresco, yeah. yeah. I make uh, it with tor- tor- It's all, all it's also a new on. Mountain Dew flavor, by the way. <laughs> Torg, Torg sees all this going on. Torg realized that Torg not only one pounding uh, goo pile and of course turns attention to the true crime uh, fresco and uh, Winona <laughs> with the Jaws pose and goes, ooh, Torg next, Torg next, Torg next. So Dak, by the way, Dak was about to run into combat. He didn't forget about this. He was also a melee combatant. He had drawn his ridiculous anime sword but the two of you took it down. He was right behind you. He steps back from all of the yelling of Fresco and the, the kind of ghoulish <laughs> celebration. <He> just <laughs> quietly sheathes his sword. <laughs> all right. Um, does anyone- So wait, so hold on. So Jess, so, so uh, Winona drew, drew this thing. Yeah. But we, we don't know what it's, obviously what it's called no. or- No. Or does, does it have like any- interesting features beyond what bit d no not really i mean just we a, can tell it doesn't have like poison sacks or no, you know well it's a big leathery thing with two predominant like exaggerated mandibles you know the, the okay. um the tradition wait, wait. in the waist can we name it couch with claws i want to hear what we're going to say do we all get to name now since yeah. no one no name oh. yeah yeah, I I uh, I like to to have my friends name the the animals that that we um, uh, kill or come upon, and so uh, I think that um, it's a lottery. So uh, let's see who who named the last one. I can't remember. <laughs> mm, I think this time uh, I think it's Torque's turn. Yeah, Torque name. Torque. Torque very excited about this. <laughs> so what so, what are you what are you gonna call this thing? Tor Torg is thinking something like like big, scary, but weak. Maybe like a like a uh 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 let's see. What what is something that's very large and ominous looking, but is also sad and easily to whip ring and destroy and beat into goo? Todd. <laughs> Last. I was just going to call it a Chris Christie, but <laughs> Todd is probably a little. Todd, Todd, Torque think Todd, a very good suggestion. Uh, uh, so the, can we, the tradi- instead of uh, calling it Todd, Torque, Torque like um, uh, uh, acronyms. So can we call it a T-O-D-D? Uh, totally, uh, over death defying. <laughs> that yeah. doesn't work. <laughs> if anyone can think of a, of a better acronym for T O D D, but the Torg, I, I think, the Torg uh, names things like my uh, like a five year old, just awesome. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. So the tradition, by the way, uh, Winona, is when you meet other people that are keeping a, a log, you compare. And usually what happens is if you both named the same thing, you compare and whoever was the one you decide is the coolest, the other people rename it. Todd will definitely be the coolest. (laughs) Uh, Todd should stand for terror of the dry desert. Oh, 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 yeah. Torg knew Goldwater come up with thing. Goldwater brain smart. Torg appreciate, Torg approve of Todd. Nobody needs to know that the dry desert is hundreds of miles from here. I won't. It's, a, it's an apocryphal dry desert. So I need, do you check to see if it's edible? What? <laughs> well, you killed a big flying meat blob. Do you, do uh, you check to see if it's edible? I don't think we should be starting a fire right now. So in that case, you probably want to throw it over the 18 foot. Yeah. You don't want to draw anything else up here with you. So nope. probably with Torg's help, those of you, although Doc, Doc is pretty, Doc is pretty strong. So you can push it over. It's hard work and they're big, spongy and bleeding, but you can get them out of the area for sure. 
Get him out of here. Bye, oh, oh. Dougie. You go back to your positions. Uh, Dak warns you, look, we knew this point and a couple others like them are here. That's why I knew to tell you. So just keep your eyes open because it's possible to send scouts. If they send scouts, our job is to kill them as fast as we can because we don't want them to get back and warn them. If they just disappear or die, it could have been monsters. It could have been anything. So I'd flip a coin. It's going to be just that big bastard tank rolling down the street, or he's going to get super cautious and roll the tank. Okay. Later in the afternoon. Uh, so it was overcast earlier. The sky is darkening. It's become dark and menacing at this point. So looking at the map, I see the leading edge. So going left to right, we have Eric and Overwatch, which makes a lot of sense. So Eric, I'm going to need a fairly important notice check with a two die penalty. Oh, it's an important one. Well, I, I only say that to not be helpful and make you feel really bad if you blow it. All right, let me roll them. I notice. Does he have a penalty only, or would that be anyone? Because Torg just realized Torg notices five as well. You're not in a position to see what he's seeing from where he okay, is. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Um, but you made, you made at least one sex, right? I did. So there are two scouts. And you can tell they're scouts because they are using stealth. They're not super good at it, but they're so the kind of stealth where you're not walking right down the road. You've got not quite a ghillie suit, but you've got like like a traveling, they're usually made from parkas, so they're kind of like camouflage gear, and you walk hunkered down a little bit. So it's not full on <coughs> PMD rogue stealth, but it's guys that are on recon who would prefer not to be seen. So they are dressed to blend in. You see them coming the direction of the rock you're on, actually. All right. Well, I mean, considering the advice that I just got was kill these people as quickly as humanly possible, um, I'm going to try and shoot both of them. If you want to try a double shot, and th th this is not... I'm not gonna let you British law this. This is not how it normally works. But today only, because it's the new year, uh, I'll let you split that double shot and try for a um, single and a single. Yeah, yeah. Three try single. try for the old Elvin double arrow. You know, uh, take them both. Perfect, off. man. Let's yeah. do it. For one special. Right. So you're gonna be rolling uh, down one die. All right. Let me clear it out then. And then right, if you hit, you're going to have to make two successes. And if you do, you'll hit both of them. I did, and I did. So nice. now I have to decide. I don't know if you noticed, but karma is negative right now. Okay. So do I want to be a dink? It uh, is the new year. That's I don't true. know what that means. Yeah. I mean, there's that Death Cab for Cutie song. That should make you feel better about it, right? Mm -hmm. It does not. Um, oh. So I'm going to say that both shots hit one. Man. Uh, you're not going to have to roll damage because knowing what the damage is in that weapon, two shots in that guy just blows him apart. So he becomes a, a Texas backyard meat sack. He just, you know, boom, off he goes. He's a he's a bad what is church. a Texas backyard meat sack, by the way. <laughs> it's a special that you can get at Dickies. Oh, for real? No. Uh, no. Can, can you imagine if it was? It sounds so you. bad. Really Give me a Texas did. backyard meat sack, please, and uh, a couple diet cokes. So I'm gonna need a um, uh, initiative roll from you, Eric, alone for right now. All right, initiative it is. Hold, please. The rest of the group has heard his gun go off, but it's only been like a second. 
34. That's faster, so you're going to get to take another shot at the other guy before you can do anything. Uh, I got a partial. Okay, do your damage. You might still pull this up. What's its um? What's its armor against guns? Two, two. He's got levers. Oh yeah, so uh, that's ten points. And that's half. Uh, no, I'm sorry, it's five points. It's five. Okay, that is not enough to take him down. So on his round, he reaches for something on his belt. Uh oh. And um, he make a notice check. Let's see. You're at a fair distance. See if you can see what he does. Sorry, who? Me? Yeah, you. All right. It's only me and Eric right now. It's only okay. certainly it'll be everybody. Far enough away. Yes, yeah. I notice. Okay. He's got maybe a walkie talkie. Oh shit. That he's is that his was that his move? That was his move. Can I shoot him again? Uh yep. Yeah. I hit him. Okay, no need for another one. So the group here is bang, bang, bang. All right. Um, so I hop down and report. Hey, uh, those scouts we heard about, there was two of them. There are now none of them. But I think we ought to be uh, wary of what's going to happen next. Good job. Um, job. Wary for why? Because one of them had some sort of communications device that seemed like he was getting ready to contact some other people that might be on their way behind him. Oh. Should, should we go through their stuff to see if there's any stuff in it? That is why you are the leader and I am just the guy who stands on a rock and shoots guns. <laughs> so you can hop down and run over there. Uh, he has the transceiver. Uh, he's got a stabber and a crossbow. And your guess strategically, Goldwater, is the crossbow is probably to not make noise. Right. Like arming your scouts with some machine guns is not to be judgy, but it's a stupid move. Yeah, it's not smart. Yeah. So what do you do? Uh, Can we take their stuff or no? Yeah, we got to get rid of their bodies. We don't know what he said, and they don't know. Here's what we don't know: is what, if anything, the report was. What I'm guessing don't know is where the attack happened, like where Eric got him. Um, so, if we clean up, they're still going to have to come this way. They may be on alert, but if we stay low and stick to the plan, we should be fine. Um. Hey, Eric. Which which of the guys had the walkie-talkie or the the transponder thing? Um, the one that I shot second over there. Okay. Um, we should we should keep that thing right to know if they're trying to reach him, right? Hey, I have a I have a radical idea. But what if we use that thing to call back to them and tell them that everything is clear and that they should make their way over here? Well, I have an idea too, and I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna go to the. It's I'm so gonna go that, to the. Deck leans in. You, you're not gonna make your head first in the fire. No. <laughs> okay. Go. I'm okay. gonna try a little improvised magic. The wing thing was great. Thanks, dude. Uh, by the way, I am. By the way, feedback. The look on your face when you pulled that wing off? Uh -huh. Combine that with the flames, you've got something. Okay. 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 Kind of like an angry orgasm. <laughs> that is, that's Shannon laughing, not Navad. <laughs> um, Navad is going to go to the corpse of the guy that Eric killed who had the I'm, I'm going to address a member of our our fan audience who I know personally Brett yeah it's 12 
sessions before they resort to necromancy. Uh, you win the bet. It's 12 sessions. All right, go ahead. Okay. I'm going to go to the corpse and I'm going to try to see. I'm going to do some improvised magic because I don't have. Oh, spell. yeah, yeah. No, no. I'm, 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 I'm Brace the dark side, my friend. What you got? Uh, I'm going to do like kind of like a modified read to see if I can like learn how to talk like him. Love it. Okay. In case they call, I can pretend to be him. Love it. Or you could even do the Han Han Solo trick, but actually sound like him. But sound like him. We're all fine here. We're fine. Right. And it'll Um, it'll be be less jackassery and more possibly effective. Yeah. Right. Uh, So I'm hoping to get a little bit of like remnant of life vibes off of his quick, quickly. Make a roll down one die. It's funnier if you blow this because I know exactly what will happen. And what, and what's my, what do I roll for this thing? Willpower? No, you roll your magic skill. Oh, duh, 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 duh. Right, and it's a divine, so, okay. Yep. Dumb okay, one here we go, guys. This is not This is not great. I don't have a ton of... <laughs> I got a six! Yay! So, <laughs> magic flows out of the mouth of the corpse, turns into, like, a glowing sort of steam, and you breathe it in. <laughs> You feel your vocal cords tighten okay. a little bit. Okay. And you sound different. And because you're a voice actor, I'm yes. going to demand that you sound different for a little while. Oh, okay. Um, hey, look, I'm a scout. I was the scout who was out on the ridge. Um, I work with the tank guys. I work with the tank boys. Here we go. <laughs> Doesn't make you talk in only exposition from now on. I, I can, not only not only do I sound like this, I can only describe myself in the third person. He needs I can a, also talk about my intentions. He needs a mild case of Fight Club. I, I am Jack's sense of impatience. <laughs> All right, beautiful. So, do you want to use the walkie-talkie with your your amazing new voice? My my goal was actually to wait for them to call us. Okay. Well, but I, well, I don't know. A, we should call them. You yeah. have it on? I don't. I didn't learn what their names are on the other side. <laughs> Say hey. Yeah. If you identify yourself as the scout that was hanging out with the truck and that has the mic, the radio, they'll know exactly who you are. Right. Okay. Hey, over the radio, you hear? Hey, 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 Craves. Hey. Craves. We all clear? Uh, yeah, yeah, we're good. It's all fine. Okay, so we can keep rolling? Well, what was the, what were those gunshots? Did you discharge? What the hell, uh, Crepes? Uh, there's, there's a bunch of rocks up here, and uh, there were these, like, weird flying bat things. And uh, we, 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 we fired the guns off to scare them away. We told you to not do that. What the fuck? I, I hate you so much. St- Sorry, we forgot. It was just like panic. If you, had, if you had a sister, I would make her fall in love with me and I would never call her. That's complicated. I, well, I don't want to just hit you because that's survivable. Okay. Jeez. Have yeah, you cleared really off needed. all the rocks and little bunny rabbits and flying things? Wait, say what again? Look, this is a surprise attack. If you fire a weapon... We, we sent you with a crossbow. We heard a fucking gun, Crepes. Uh, well, um, we found a gun in the out here, and we and then it startled us, and then the, not the gun, the the bat things. Jesus, I hate you! Oh my god! What? Well, anyway, just oh get up god. here. Get up here. Get up here. Come on. Dad Let's... said we had to take you. <clears throat> Make a deception roll. Uh, okay. You don't have uh, to roll deceive. the scene with the voice because the voice is chef's kiss. It's absolutely deceive. perfect. Okay. Yeah, but uh, you have to pull one over on him. Uh, I got a five. Partial. I got a partial. All right. We're going to keep rolling, but just pull back. We're going to send out some other scouts. Just bring the gun back to the tank. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know if that's a great idea. Um, just you guys will you just get up this far and get caught are, up are you 
Are you thinking? Are you trying to think? It's pathetic. Come back to the tank and bring the gun. Um, Damn it, I hate you. I can't, I can't do that. Um, um, the, we, the gun, you hear, the gun hit. You hear a little distant from the motorcycle. I know he's my, my from the, the, uh, the walkie talkie. I know he's my brother, but I'm going to fucking kill him. Can I, can I have permission to go kick his ass? All right, keep moving. I'm going to move faster because you're feeble and have short little stupid legs. And I'm going to come where you are and I'm going to beat the tar out of you. I'd like to see you try. <laughs> there is a very loud noise and then he toggles it off. Good um, thing that guy's dead. Yeah, I, I, I almost got him. I, I gotta, uh, that guy's going to beat up his dead brother. I'm going to hate to be that guy when he comes here. <laughs> I hate to be that guy. In, uh, your voice, when does that wear off? I have no idea. We got to talk to the channel. <laughs> what, <laughs> what if it's like for a year or something? Oh, I didn't or, really for the, or for the remainder of however long this mission is. <laughs> <laughs> Look, um... You know me, I don't always, I, I have one good idea and then I don't really think downstream too far beyond the good idea. Oh my God. Let me tell you, man, making a choice to have a hardcore voice can end up backfiring on you after a while. <laughs> <laughs> and around them, I feel like uh, there's more to that up, story. You me. have your extra foxy, sensey oh. ears. So we probably get a close up of one of your ears twitching. You hear in the distance, Grinding, rattling machine noise. Rumble, 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 rumble. High alert. They're coming. I'm going to give us an early bio break. Uh, so let's take these five. And then when we come back, tank. Sounds good. All right, we're just discussing who has the grenades. What do we decide? Torg has two, D has two, Dak has two. Beautiful. All right, so shortly after uh, we got warning from the good doctor, um, everyone- Oh, sorry, quick... Mike, just for strategy, yeah. throw, what I will say to everybody is throw early, then go in for hand-to-hand. -hand. Don't wait. As soon as the tank is stopped, Throw the fucking grenades. <laughs> throw, throw early, throw often. Yes. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta shoot early. It's true. Um, so, why not? Probably warns everybody, waves or something. Everybody is. I say hurt. they're here. <laughs> not too much longer after her warning, you hear it, but you also feel it. Something this heavy literally rattles the ground and you can feel its vibration as it approaches. Um, and you also see in the distance, the other thing they do is it's a big gas guzzling, I think usually diesel. So it's belching black smoke. So you see the little trail coming from where it's where it is in the distance. Now it's gotten fairly dark, like it's overcast. Uh, the sky is like threatening rain like it's got that very it's it's like basically dark early 
but you can still see that that tendril and then you see it and uh, we can go to the map now thank you sir uh, and uh, maybe zoom in for a little so we can see what it and the, the um, entourage looks like. Oh, hello. Uh, oh, so God. there are people in the pintle mounts. Uh, those are heavy machine guns. There are four attendants. <coughs> those people have heavier than usual armor. It's a form of junk mail. So they're not just armed in leather. They've got things strapped to them, very Mad Max style, very, you know, partial tire shoulder pads, that kind of stuff, which means they're not going to go down quite as easy as some of the guys have been fighting. There is a big dude who is dressed similar to what, what Dak was wearing when you first encountered him. This is probably not the guy they were calling Curse, the boss. This would be, on the parlance of the waste, a mini boss. Um, but he's clearly guiding this procession. And it doesn't look like they have any other hard-hitting anything. Clearly, their plan is roll this ridiculous tank up to the Shire and just hammer you until you surrender. You have other plans. So, uh, why not? Um, this was not covered in your veterinary training. Um, but you now hold the command trigger. It seems to be in position. You were told when it hits the stops and they're moving uh, to remove the obstacles. It's time to get it going. So are you gonna trigger the explosive? Yeah, I do a quick sign of the cross. Not that I believe in anything, but that was how I was raised and I can't shake it. And then I kiss <laughs> on the nose and I say a kaboom. So before you roll, I am going to need a D to make a stealth roll with two extra dice. Uh, two fours and a two, that's up. So not, not stealthy. Two fours and a, how many dice do you have? Three, you said two extra, I get a one. Two extra, so that's five dice. Oh, I don't, but my stealth is a one. Oh, you only have a stealth of one? So you rolled yeah. three, okay. So that is a terrible stealth roll. I know. I will, I will give you the option to succeed by using the good karma if you want to. It's so early. I don't think that's smart. Well, it's that or I might notice you. <laughs> Guys. Use it. It's fine. Use it. Okay. Okay. Use it. Use it. Use it. It's there. It's you there for a reason. See. Okay. This is, this is Winona's uh, even being a lapsed Catholic a hundred years into the future. Okay. 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 I'm going to use it. Yes. Yeah. To, like call in like some power of Saint Anthony or something, you know. Why <laughs> okay. Why not? I also need stealth with two bonus dice. Wait, does that mean I just automatically pass it? Yep. Okay, great. <laughs> you said two bonus, right? Yep. All right. Um, yeah, I got two sixes, five other stuff. Beautiful. Ford. <laughs> Torg, uh, stealth with two extra dice. So two more than you would normally get. Torg having trouble finding stealth. Torg so going to see evade. Bottom left. Under survival. Stealth is the last in survival. The last. Ah! Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, you said two extra? Yep. Oh, all right. Where's, there it is. Uh, Torque get a six and three fives. Okay, beautiful. Uh, Goldwater, stealth with two bonus dice, please. Okay. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. Uh, no sixes, uh, I got a partial. Got a partial? Okay, that's fine. Navad, uh, roll with one bonus die. One bonus die. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're not using the voice. Um, I got a six <laughs> and two fours, so I passed. He only uses the voice when he's in character. He's not saying this out loud. He's not <laughs> <Yeah>. I, <laughs> well, We've already established that he also talks in exposition. Yeah, he's yeah. thinking his so, own voice. 
The most exposed person role-wise is Coldwater. I'm not going to make a role because the, the leader, part of his job is watching the road as he goes down it. <laughs> you don't get to know what I rolled. Cool. But I am going to need a reaction role from Winona. Oh, boy. Um, you said a reaction role? It's under save. Saving throws. Oh, gotcha. Uh, no. Four, three, and two. Okay. He points where Goldwater is and yells, oh, shit. <laughs> Do you press the detonator? Uh, yes. Okay. I need you to roll two six-headed dice and let me know if either one of them comes up a three. Uh, no, six and five. Okay. So what he warned you about is there's a loose wire in the transmitter. So if that happens, you need to take out the batteries, pop off the back, and retie the little wire. That doesn't happen. So there's a moment where you get the long close-up shot of you, uh, you don't, sweat wouldn't show up because you're furry, but we'd see it in your eyes, right? And yeah, eyes. Eyes. <laughs> you yeah. hit the thing, there's actually a little light on the little red button, and there is a massive explosion. Ooh, Roll good. 12, I'm going to actually have, uh, no, you you add uh, very quickly, so 12 six-sided dice, please. Uh, you're talking, still talking to me? Yeah, I need to know any die that gets a four or better, and also keep track of your sixes. Oh, oh, Jess, Jess almost quoted the um, uh, Taxi Driver sequel. You still talking to me? <laughs> Taxi Driver 2. <laughs> still talking to me? Still talking. <laughs> uh, you, okay, so one six, and then you want to know how many fours? Or? Yeah, how many dice got a four or better? Um, oh, four or better. Yeah. Um, Mm, that's going to be uh, those dice, which is four. Okay. Uh, and then re-roll the six. Blow up the tank. Three. The, tank. Yeah. the tank buckles a little bit. Fire and debris shoot out. The guys around the side. Uh, this guy does not... This guy does. That guy does. Rolling a bunch of saving throws. That guy does not. And these two gentlemen here have taken damage from the explosion and the debris coming out from under the tank. Uh, they will take damage and they will be stunned the first round. Uh, so they're thrown to the ground. Did somebody just move the tank? Oh no. Not intentionally. Uh, uh, Jen, not, not, not intentionally. I was trying to zoom in. Oh, and no, and that's fine. Zoom, if you zoom, <laughs> you, I did that earlier, and I put it back together very quickly. Yeah, yeah and, I, try, I, try, unfortunately, I tried to move it back. The way this the tank works. Exploded. Is, oh, my God, there's people have blown everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it reorders all of this shit. That's fine. I just fix it. All right. Oh, players. Cool. All right, so and then it magically reassembled. Transformers. Yeah. So that happens. So now I'm going to need an initiative from everybody. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Eric, what's yours? Hold, please. One, yes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Twenty-seven. One, two, eight, Navad. Six. Fifteen. Why not? <laughs> Okay, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Thank you. Goldwater? I got a 23. D. 22. And Tor. Darn it. What's initiative again? Your dice, uh, your right. speed dice rolled and added together. The speed. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah, that no was, <laughs> I couldn't remember. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't remember. All right, let me get back over to this. Twenty. Okay, 
So the first thing that's going to happen is uh, Eric, which is not a shock. Um, the explosion happens. What do you do? Mm -hmm. I'm going to try and take out the guys on the turrets, on the guns. Okay. You want to take one shot at one? Or you want to double shot that? Guy? I want to double shot. Okay. But but not. It's not my uh, British style day anymore, right? No. And right. it's at uh, regular. It's at far because that's what you wanted. Okay. That's your most optimal range for Karen, right? Yep. Okay. And you I got, got two sixes. sixes. Beautiful. So do damage twice. Okay. And he, um, the those guys in those pintles, they have regular leathers, so it's only two. So, uh, let's see. I got four is eight, and one of them is a six, and I'll re-roll the six. And that's it for the first okay. one. So that's 11, uh, and that is one point shy of taking them off. All right, and then the, the other one is... Uh, oh, okay, one point shy, you're definitely going to get enough. So you take the oh. number out. Wait, don't I have the other... I was trying to shoot both guys. Uh, do, does double shot normally allow you to change targets? That was my that was my impression. Yeah. Okay. Well, go ahead then. So, do you want to leave her with the one hit point then? Yes, that's fine because the other one, I got all six and two sixes, and then let me roll the other two. So and I got another six. Twelve. 12 all that three more is going to. And be I got another six. Thirty. Thirty-three. That's it. Yeah. Well, 33 points of damage to a 12 hit point guy. Uh, describe what happens to him. Um, he sees the first guy get shot uh, and he kind of looks quickly at him and then looks toward me. And before his head can turn all the way toward me, it disappears completely um, in a uh, in a velvet haze. Um and then his body sort of um, like World Trade Center collapses straight down Oof. into the hole. Oof. Gold water. Too soon? Yeah. It's been 120 years. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm going to hold my action until I hear a bunch of grenades go off. Fair. Uh, all right, D. I throw my grenade! <laughs> okay. So do you want to throw it at... The nearest guy, like the guy over here? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and roll uh, the throw. Okay. Uh, uh, two fives. So partial, I guess? Okay, partial. So that means it does go off. It doesn't blow up in your hand, but it doesn't go where you wanted it to. So it blows up over here-ish. It's going to do some damage to the tank. He has a chance to make a save. You'll take some damage. Uh, the grenade does. I'm Since I have sure. two hands, can I throw two grenades? No, because no? it's uh, your full action, your complex action to do the throw. Got it. I'm just making sure. Okay. Uh, do you want to roll the dice, or do you want me to do it for efficiency's sake? Uh, it, I, uh, um, I don't or do you know. want to roll the dice because it's fun to roll dice? I like rolling them. Roll the dice. I like it. Roll it's me. Dice. It's my turn. Let me do it. Six dice. Six? Okay. Uh, ha ha! Yes! You're only rolling against a two because it's an energy blast? Well, then it can S my D because <laughs> I got two sixes, two fives, and two things that don't matter. So, well, only th the only thing that's going to miss is a one. Okay, well, I got one of those. Okay, so that's five times two for everyone that succeeds is ten. And then how many sixes did you get? Two. Wow. Okay, so that's going to be 14 points. Reroll the sixes. Uh, five and a one, so that's it. Okay, and then we have that, which because he was already hurt because of the explosion into the tank is enough to take him out. Ah! So you cause yeah! more damage to this side of the tank, and that guy is down. Yeah. Uh, good on you, D. Tor, wow. you're up. First, first off, right before Tor threw a grenade, Torque, uh, give a hearty, yeah, D. <laughs> so, uh, do, you, do you want to throw straight at a guy, or do you want to, uh, like throw it <laughs> Uh I'm gonna throw it directly at one of the dudes to take them out. I mean, the one closest. 
Yes. Okay. Go ahead and do your throw. Okay. Uh, yeah, Goldwater, you gratifyingly start hearing the explosions. Holy crap. Now, granted, I did not get any sixes, but I got the most fives I've ever seen in my life. Huh. I got five fives. I so, moved the tank. I didn't mean to move the tank. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to zoom in. It wasn't me this time. See? It's an easy mistake to make. Roll the roll a D6 for me. Okay. Five. Uh, that means it's going to skew this way, which means it's only going to affect that guy, but that's kind of what you want to do anyway. He gets a save. So roll. I'm going to roll that. Okay, so he is hurt, but not down. Uh, then we go to Dak. Dak was also told to throw, throw grenades. He's going to step out to about here. And he's going to chuck his grenade at uh, Weisenheimer over here. Yeah, I like it. Hey there, Weisenheimer. <laughs> he hits Weisenheimer. Oh, no. That's four sixes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> can, can I describe what happens? Yeah, please do. Because, okay. I mean, I'm assuming this is enough damage to take him out, right? A couple of times, yeah. So in my mind, he he kind of like goes with this grenade and he gives it like almost like a basketball jump shot. And it literally lands in the guy's pocket on his vest, <laughs> on his shirt. And he looks down and then just, just bits and pieces go flying everywhere. And then Dak says nothing but net. No. Oh yeah, yeah. Because that's about, about all that's left of this guy is a net. Gave him a good '80s tagline. Very nice yes. of you. Uh, <laughs> it's amazing. All right, and at this point, the boss is going to move to here. Oops, excuse me. And he yells something. I need Goldwater and Navad. Oh no. You have the option. Yeah. To do because neither one of you has actually acted this round. Yeah. You can do evasion and jump the hell out of that uh shipping container and away from it because the tank gun is going to fire. At at the shipping container. Yeah, it's I it doesn't rotate finely enough to show, but basically at Goldwater. Okay. Well, uh, you know, I, I kind of want to see if I can survive it. So I'll just, <laughs> I'll just stay right here. No, 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 I'm going to evade. Uh, <laughs> you pull him out of there. You pull him out of there. I'm well, evading. Yeah. No. I'm running. <laughs> you had me going. Um, okay, you don't need to roll. Okay. But we're going to say, like, he runs probably that way. And you, uh, Goldwater, are you going to go this way or out the back? Let's say I go out the back. Uh, yeah, I was thinking the same. Uh, okay. Sorry, sorry Dan. I'm not no gonna worries. roll. I'm not gonna roll the dice, but it does very many of them. That car flies up in the air. The shipping container is no more. A chunk of that outcropping of rock is just destroyed. Okay. Uh, the whole thing rocks back in position because this type of tank actually has feet that come down to brace it. Yeah. Because the cannon shoots that hard. Um, so it it does some self-inflicted damage. Um, these guys can't do anything. This guy is going to shoot at Dak. I loved him! Uh, Dak takes some damage. I will indicate that by making him yellow. But he does not go down, so that's good. Uh, right, and that's them, them, them. There's a guy on this pintle gun, but it can't turn far enough to shoot anybody. Um, the guy up here is the one you killed. Uh, so that's the end of them. Then we go to Navad. 
Um, boy, I'm kind of exposed here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to try the skull. No. <laughs> um, oh, I'm, I'm, actually, the Bob, I'm sorry. You make a very good point. I'm going to make an awareness check. Okay. Yeah, this, that shit I said about the Pentagon. Oh, okay. You're actually in a position where it could I'm in, a, I'm in a prime position for that to happen. Yep. Uh, gone, now you gone, have this bead. It's gone. It's gone. gone. So you get to make an evade check, but this yep. is a gun, so you're two dice down. Okay, evade two dice down. Guns are hard to avoid if you're not Wonder Woman. Right. What if I also am shouting at the same time, your brother's dead, but I sound just like him. Yes. You hear. From, Can he add a dice for that? <laughs> just one. Yeah, I was like, it doesn't help my evasion, but I'm hoping it, hoping the gunner or somebody in there is like. You hear the gunner yell, I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> if he has to roll the hit, he'll be down to die because of his blind hatred of his little brother. Okay, I love it. So go ahead and make an evade. This might be immaterial. So um, so I'm I'm down two on evade. Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, oh, I got a six. I got a six, a two, and a one. Okay, so it opens up. It's a machine gun, and you dive, and we get the the tracking squibs across the ground, and none we, of them like full full A team, right? Yep. Like it's like right <laughs> alongside me. Yep. Nice. Uh, apparently, his aim is not super great because he's busy hating on you. Uh, why not? You're up. Look what you did. You made such a mess. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm proud. Uh, okay, so I'm going to try to shoot um, the, I guess, like the one that's near Dak, maybe. Yeah, the one like you go straight. Yeah. Here. I thought that guy was dead. Oh, wasn't that right. the jump shot, dude? I think you're right. We didn't take in the him back. Oh, oh yeah, that guy died from something else. That guy's dead. <laughs> ah, well, never mind. Uh, I will shoot. Um, if I shoot my gun, I can hit one of the other three, right? Or is that tank in you the way? Need, it's the tanks in the way. You'd have to get up, kind of where Torg is, or go around. Gotcha. Um, yeah, I will. I, I'm afraid to zoom in because then I'm going to move the tank, and I'll be. <laughs> but okay oh i see what you're saying torque yeah i can run behind that sort of that rock where torque is yep and then shoot or do or do i have to is running my one thing i can do this round right. uh you can make a uh climb test and if you make the climb test you'll get more to do in the round let's see how fast you can skitter over the rocks <laughs> Oh my, three sixes. <laughs> uh, so you very agilely get up there and you then have easily an angle on this, these wounded guys and can shoot one of them. Okay, cool. Um, then yeah. You get to see Winona uh, do her Cirque du Soleil up the side of the rock. It's called parkour. Um, okay, so <laughs> I got a partial um, on that gun shot. Okay, do your four dice. That might be enough because he's wounded. Okay, I got, oops, six, five, three, and two. Okay, so see if I, it's going to be eight, six, 11, even have, that's enough. Takes them out. Nice. And then. Parkour! <laughs> parkour Back to parkour. Eric. Um, is there still a the dude on the turret with one hit point left? There is one dude on the other side over here. Uh, everybody is kind of not in direct sight for you because of where they're sitting. So you can you can roll, but you'll be at a disadvantage because they're yeah. I wonder if there's one over here the and the other guys are. Um, hmm. Tank. Tank? Is that what you said? Don't shoot the tank. Yeah, shoot the tank. Um, <laughs> hmm. Shoot the glass. Shoot. <laughs> I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna try and move. That'll be my my um, turn. Okay. To get to a better angle on the on the boss. 
Parkour. To try and take a sniper shot at the boss. Parkour. <laughs> <laughs> well, there actually is a feat called parkour. I think it's called hardcore parkour. Nice. I uh, have yeah, yeah, Goldwater can. Uh, okay, I felt like I'd heard this term recently, like within context of this game. So Goldwater has that skill? So, uh, yeah. Feet, so what it would do in this case, for example, although, Eric, uh, you need to use your full move to change range category. Yeah, that's okay. fine. I would do that. So, but do you want to, or do you want to stay at five? I want. I just want to get a better angle. Can I? Can I stay at the same range without? Yeah, yeah, totally. So you can you can actually take a shot. So like this dude down here, you've got a pretty good shot at him. Okay, then I'll take that shot. I might as well. Yeah, yeah. I, moved, I moved Mike. <laughs> yeah. Go Thank ahead. you. All right, here we go. Partial. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to... I assume knowing your damage that half would be enough to take him out. Okay. Uh, all right. Then we're going to go to Goldwater. There's whoever's in the tank and the boss. Okay. Um, I am going to use the rocket launcher. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to aim for this, like aim as well as you can with a rocket launcher. Um, for the space in between the turret and the base of the tank. That's legit. Uh, well, I don't know what kind of... This is World War II tactics. I'm going to stick with that. I don't know That's what, who That's this rocket launcher is. But I'm going to try and pop the turret off. That's the goal. Make a shoot test. All right. Uh, yeah, it could be great to not flub this one. Yeah. Because rocket launchers and explosions. Well, I got two sixes. You oh, hit. Nice. That's going to be, I think it's eight dice. Bad oh, is. Uh, it is eight dice, and the crit is four. Oh, my. Wow. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Uh, its defense eight. is four, though. Okay. So four or higher is good? Four or higher will do two points, and then the any six will also do an additional four points. Okay, so I got a four, a five, and a six. So plus I can. 12 plus four is 16, then we roll the six. Okay. A five. Okay, so you do 16 points of damage to a tank. Uh, all right. How many hit points does a tank have? I mean, Torg has done more damage than that with her hands. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's so true. I am going to expend the. Uh, Karma. I knew uh, it was coming. I have a negative karma here. <laughs> I knew it was coming. I almost wanted to hold my rocket launcher until after, so I could use the good karma to blow it up. Oh well. And what happens is, the it hits the thing, and it ends up uh, miss seated on the mount, so it like obviously can't turn anymore. There's like a beat, and then a massive explosion. I am going to need, let's see who's anywhere near the Nang thing. Uh, oh. You're up on a rock. You're not there. So really, Winona and Tor need to make uh, reaction saves. Probably Dak, too, not to be too. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's right Dak there. Dak is Dak Dak. Him also. D's all right. D's behind the shadow of that rock outcropping. Okay. Uh, these three are in direct. I'll actually give a bonus of a die to Winona and Torg. Uh, Dax would have to make this straight up. Uh, what are we rolling again? Sorry, I, I reaction I save. Reaction, okay. And you said add a die. Uh, you're going to add a die. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Because you're in a pretty good position. You're partially defective. defective, blah, defective. I got eighteen. Uh, you're looking for sixes. Oh, I'm so sorry. At two sixes. It's fine. So plenty good. Wow. Nice. Why Nona? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a five. I got a rock. You're going to take half because where you are, it does mean you're going to take 19 points of damage total. Wow. So Winona defends by hopping down off the rock and hiding next to D. So she's in the blast shadow. 
Dak rolled a good roll, so jumps behind this defense here. Torg, as has been proven, generally just is Torg, right? Uh, so a wave of flame and twisted metal hits you. Uh, you're going to take three hits. So roll a d6 three times. I, I'm hoping for low here, correct? No, each one is where it's located. You just don't want to roll the same thing twice. Okay, but what am I aiming for? You're just rolling and giving him a number. Yep. The number oh, okay. that's on the die. I know. I'm just. I'm just wondering yeah, what. Not I'm aiming for anything. Yeah. Okay. So what you said three d sixes. Yep. Okay, so I got a six. Huh. A four. And a two. Oh, nice. Good. So on your injury track those numbers would be blacked out. So it's only bad if you roll the same number again, because that becomes a wound. So basically you're a little torn up, but you've not been wounded, which is good. Oh, you're so not even I black out the ones that I rolled. Yep. Yeah. And okay, you're not even so negative hit points. That's what I wanted right? to know was what yeah. was happening. You're not negative hit points though, right? Do, who what now, huh? You took 19 hit points from your hits. No. You're still positive. Yeah. So you're actually fine. So Torg just stands there and there's a fireball and like, you know, I think this thing is about six tons and just twist chunks of twisted metal and just kind of stands there like a paparazzi is taking pictures. What oh, else what? you got? Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> there's that long moment where you do the slow motion uh, bits falling, <laughs> you know, Tung, 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 tung. <laughs> there's very little left of the tank and there is no sign of the leader mm. Mm. so so the little little leader man who was down in the front there he's, yep. he's disappeared we don't see his corpse or anything do you start looking yeah I'm going to jump down or uh, run down jump over the flames here and see if he somehow got into the ravine. So we get the- I got parkour, I can use my parkour finally. <laughs> so parkour lets him move through obstacles. They don't actually slow him. So you see him like jumping over things and moving like a liquid snake uh, through the environment. <laughs> and uh, you find a horned helmet with a head in it. Ooh. Ooh. We got him. So Dak steps out from behind the big uh, crate or whatever the hell that is. Uh, oh, yeah, that's uh, that's Carl. Oh, I'm sorry. Sundown Nightmare. I mean, the Ward the Lord, the Lord, Lord likes uh, ridiculous. He's, he's Carl. Was no. I'm sorry, I was on the wrong side of the battle today. Well, I mean, I think you've neutralized the threat to your settlement. Not much salvage here, though. Hmm. It looks like they rigged it with a self destruct, and the rocket launcher set it off. Huh. Hmm. Well, it definitely wasn't what I was going for. Torg, how are you doing? Uh, Torg, Torg, fine. Torg, <laughs> Torg, want to know? Torg, did 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 we win? It looks is like it, it. Is it over? <laughs> I I yell up to Eric. Any more coming? Um, I look through my sniper, all, like at a three hundred and sixty. So we're not in rounds, but you will definitely see. A couple of trucks and a van, including the one that came up with Dan originally, that had the the uh, the slip bounce in it to shoot out from. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there may be eight guys, but that column is in the process of turning around because <laughs> you know they must have seen that explosion from where they're at. Okay, there was some on the way. They're on their way out. <laughs> yay, yay, yay. Yeah, you can watch through the viewfinder. You see them like doing the uncomfortable, like 
caravan wheel it on like somebody's doing this <laughs> just waving people back yep yeah yeah somebody must have yelled shit they got the tank i mean it's very clear what happened all right well i think we sent a message here today <laughs> i'm gonna say the camera pulls back from goldwater and the flaming tank is in the background right <laughs> yeah that's a pretty good message Borg agree. Strong message sent. <laughs> Jack, uh, what's next for you? Are you coming back with us? Well, I, I don't really have a crew. Um, I'd be happy to have a place to eat my churros and make my pancakes. Jack, you know you always have a home at the Shire. Especially if you bring in a pancakes. Do we have to call it the Shire, though? They yeah. chose the name. Okay. Yeah. Think of it as a bastion of freedom. Ugh. Can I operate the big gun? I think you may be the most qualified to operate the big gun. Yeah. See, I'm done with that. All right. Okay. I'll make pancakes and I'll operate the big gun. Are that is a job description. <laughs> Who's your boss? There isn't one. There's a that, yeah, that doesn't one really of a work. leader at the Shire, but it's very communal there. Yeah, so my first bit of advice, I've been to a bunch of settlements. I've seen some succeed. I've seen some fall apart and end up with a warlord. I've seen some just get ground under by whoever hostile is in the area. The ones that succeed, you, you need a leader, not a committee. You, you need someone that these people can look up to. Like elections? I mean, yeah, maybe. I mean, some different every settlement does it differently. A lot of the ones that I went to, I mean, one did it by punching each other, and the last one standing was the leader. But you know, I've seen elections, sure. You put little colored rocks in a bag or something i'm for colored rocks in a bag is there anybody that the people in your settlement really look up to that they go to for advice uh is there um, i mean you know we have a doctor among us yeah winona so would they tend to go to winona if they had a problem she is the she has the right manner for both crisis situations and negotiations. Yeah, see, so here's the thing. That's already your leader. Because if you do the stones in a bag thing and you pick somebody else and it's not the person they already go to for advice, you're not gonna have a harmonious result. I just dread as someone who believes in the distribution of power, checks and balances, presidents and committee, yeah. assigning someone by fiat goes against my beliefs, but I do believe if there was a vote and she ran, she would win. So just to ask the people. Do you feel huh? like if, you know, all Shire already agree that, you know, doctor is, 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 most likely, you know, first boss lady for questions, then why even make it official when that's what we're already doing? Tor well, so, not understand why we need label if that's so, already what's happening. Well, accountability, partially. Like, if you don't have somebody, when somebody like me comes into town and asks something like, you're going to put me in your big gun who's the leader, if you don't have a real good answer for that, you don't have ideal control over, like, me, um, it does sound Goldwater, though, like if you just ask the people, maybe you don't have to go all the way to rocks in a bag. Maybe they already know. But wouldn't it be so much better if we had ballots that we put in a box and then an independent party looked at the ballots and counted them? Hey, wouldn't man. That, I'm looking around at everybody. Wouldn't that Wait. be incredible? <laughs> I have an idea. Why don't we set a term for her for her leadership? And at the end of that term... 
we could satisfy your desire to to cast ballots to see whether or not she can run another term. This guy gets it. This guy gets it. <laughs> he gets it. Finally, somebody. Finally. Uh, well, it sounds like we'll begin the next session uh, by appointing a leader and ratifying uh, Wainana as the uh, leader of the Shire Settlement for a set period after which there will be a proper election. Uh, so let's call this a short session today. I have other stuff, but considering you were all kind of like waking up from the cryo sleep, yes. of the break. We uh, have dice. What do we yeah. do? What do we do? I certainly include me on that list. I think we're all like, we're glad to be here. And oh, what is happening? <laughs> Hold on. I would like to point out that we we by committee like elected white or like suggested that Winona become the mayor of the settlement while Jess's Zoom had crashed and she was not party to the conversation at all. Like. Yeah. I, it was it's like it's like literally it's like i don't like it's you were the the millard fillmore of this situation we were just like i'm the president nice. now i guess <laughs> nice <laughs> did, you, did you catch any of what happened no i didn't i was ch chasing bork bork got away uh, <laughs> yeah I had to clean it up. I don't want to litter. I and so it was a whole thing. We we can fill you in. Uh, I think though we've got a few things like an excellent announcement, and uh, we're gonna pass off to uh, to Mike to do all to do all of those things. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Uh, so uh, here, let me let me be myself. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> it's it's me. Oh God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mike Delonzo. You'll know me as Eric. Um, yeah, so we wanted to uh, we wanted to take a moment to thank, obviously, Colt, our uh, our man of many technical talents, uh, Andreas Fabis, who is responsible as always for the uh, intro and the beginning of the show, Qui Gon Bowers, who uh, is it's still intrepidly um, running our uh, moderating our chat, um, uh, and. Uh, we have a couple of announcements. First of all, uh, next week and on the 18th, um, we have an unbelievably exciting special guest, Travis McElroy will be here, um, who is like ridiculously cool. And are we are very, 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 very excited to have them. Um, and then- I don't know extra... what y'all are talking about. Uh, <laughs> I thought we were having my old college uh, uh, pal on on the stream, not some Jen, famous person. They're the same person. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> and then uh, January I'm so 18th, excited we, about have, playing with him. Oh. we have an extra special, extra, extra special guest that we don't even all know who that is yet. So it's a, it's a surprise. Well, um, I don't want to say it yet um, until uh, the, uh, between the 11th and the 18th, because the setup, on the 11th, we'll know who that person is going to play then if we spoil it too sub too soon. Barack um, Obama. Barack Obama. It's Barack yeah, Obama. It is. It's Barack Obama. Um, it's a, he, will it's be, a, he will be running against Winona in the second election. It's, 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 Dr. Very Jill <laughs> it's Dr. Jill Biden two days before the inauguration. <laughs> yep. Um, so that's very, very exciting. And then, uh, as you may or may not know, um, 819 is expanding this year. Um, and our second offering is uh, starting this Thursday night. Uh, it's a little thing called Hard Ass Trivia, which is the most difficult trivia game in the known universe, um, hosted <laughs> by myself and Jeremy Sweetlam. Uh, this uh, this uh, go round will be uh, 2020 will be the subject, um, and the uh, <laughs> got uh, some very very interesting guests to help populate that, um, and that is Thursday night at nine o'clock central. So uh, we'll see you then. But uh, until then, we will see you in the wasteland.